Hey, good morning to you. I uh, came up with a little idea that I wanted to share with uh, anyone out there that uh, might need a little more personal protection equipment uh, against this virus. Uh, I know there's uh, quite a big shortage out there for the N95 masks and things like uh, face shields. Well, here's a little idea of something that you can uh, build at home, probably with materials that are pretty accessible or that you already have at home, okay? Uh, we're looking for something here to uh, build a face shield similar to what you've seen on the television that all the doctors in the hospitals are, are using, allows them to uh, have a little more closer contact with uh, their patients, those around you. So maybe something like this will uh, help you. It's also going to help you uh, keep your hands away from your face, you know, the touching that we all don't even think about doing in terms of, uh, you know, just touching our face spreading uh, the virus. So uh, just as a disclaimer, uh, what we're putting together here has not been tested or approved or certified, but if you do need an additional level of uh, protection at home or you know, maybe in your job or your travels, I think this uh, is a little bit better than doing nothing. Okay, so uh, let's get started. Uh, uh, the materials that I talked about, we're going to need a uh, two liter uh, soda bottle. We're going to need a baseball cap. Uh, we're going to need a stapler, pair of scissors, things that uh, you should be able to uh, dig up uh, fairly easily. Uh, as I said, I've already uh, removed a, uh, a label from the bottle here, just slid it, tear it off. There's one little line where uh, there's some adhesive in it, but it easily peels off of that. So the first thing you want to do is to uh, uh, turn the bottle so that you can hold uh, near the neck, the, uh, the mouth of the bottle, with a sharp knife. Just make any type of a little incision there. That's not important of how you do it, where you do it, but it's just an access point so you can put a pair of scissors in. What we're going to do is to cut off the neck of the bottle and cut off of the base of the bottle and then the material that's left will be uh, uh, the basis for our face shield. So I'm going to start cutting around here a bunch of small little cuts. Where I want to end up, you can see where there's a straight portion of the bottle and a curved portion, uh, the neck of the bottle. We want to end up with just a little bit of this curved portion left. I uh, don't want to try to make the final cut on the first pass around, but I will uh, continue to make uh, small little increments of cutting as we go around here. Okay. Uh, smaller cuts allow you to make things a little bit uh, smoother, I found. The polycarbonate it is a tough material, it's cleanable. Uh, it's the same material that's used in safety uh, glasses, safety goggles in the work environment. Okay, that doesn't look so good, but now we can clean that up a little bit. Okay, now we've got the neck off. You can see there's a little bit of a curved portion left here. Next thing we're going to do is to slit the bottle up to the bottom. We want to slit it along this uh, glue line here. So just cut uh, straight through that up to the end. Maybe you can see there's a little mold mark here. You want to cut past that mold mark because the next thing we're going to do is cut the bottom off. And this has to be fairly straight on that mold mark. Okay, so we can start cutting there. If you can't really see it or you're not comfortable with cutting around that mark, uh, you know, just take some tape. You can wrap a loop of tape around your uh, bottle and then you have a nice guide. But we're just going to wing it here on this one. Uh, if you make a mistake and have to uh, recut it, your shield will be just a hair shorter, but again, uh, dimensions here aren't critical. 
I'm going to get most of this off. There we go. Now we've got a piece of uh, very clear, strong, washable polycarbonate. Pretty cool. Okay, not a bad seam there. That looks pretty straight. The straighter it is, the better. Uh, before we install this uh, uh, shield, I'm going to round off just these corners a little bit. They're a little sharp. We'll just put a little radius on there. Uh, same thing on this one. This is the top edge that will be mounted in the hat. The bottom edge, which will float freely, I'm going to put a little bit bigger uh, radius on. That corner, we'll just round this off a little bit here. Okay, so there's our face shield. So, so. All right, now with the baseball cap, a couple of things to point out here. It's just a regular uh, in the D uh, baseball cap, one of my favorites. Inside of the baseball caps, uh, there's a headband. And the ones, all the ones that I've seen, this headband is attached uh, to the brim on one side and the, uh, the rest of it here is kind of floating. So we want to take our shield and we want to mount it inside the cap to that headband. Uh, we want to kind of uh, center it so this center of the shield lining up with the center of the brim here so we have equal mounts on either side to uh, make it a little bit easier since I've got uh, two left hands uh, I'm going to try these uh, binder clips here to see if that'll uh, give me like an additional hand here to help hold this so we'll, uh, we'll put some of those on temporarily Okay, one there, one there, maybe another one on the other side here. It's pretty important that you try to uh, get the edge of the shield lined up with the free edge of the uh, headband. Okay, I think we'll uh, try that at the moment. Oh, that's not in the center, is it? Let's move all this stuff over. There we go. Slide that around. Put this one back on. There, that's a little better there. Okay, I'm going to straighten these up a little bit. So I want to take this edge again that I talked about, keep it lined up with the free edge or the top edge of the headband, and just take my handy little office stapler there, put in my first staple. Let's check it. That looks pretty good. Let's put in another one there. Maybe another one there. I'm going to move along the headband about a couple of inches. Double check that edge. There we go. Let's put in a couple more. Okay. Here you can see I've got some staples and the uh, the polycarbonate lined up there. Looks like this other side has uh, come loose a little bit. Let's rewrap him around the edge there. Okay, bring that around here, bring that around here. Okay, let's get a staple in there. Two of those. Hopefully you're not making a video and you can take a little more time to align this. But uh, let's put a couple more near the corner here. Probably helps if I loosen up the strap. There we go. Too bad. Put our head 
the strap back on. Okay, we're just about done. Okay, so what do you think? Uh, I'm going to take my glasses off. It fits a little better. And uh, we'll go from there. There we go. I think we've got a, uh, a pretty good face shield, face shield there. Unlike just a mask, this covers our eyes, uh, covers our nose, covers our mouth. So the air we're breathing is uh, that air that floats up through the bottom of the mask, not uh, uh, any airborne spray from uh, those around us. So uh, pretty, uh, pretty simple, pretty low cost. Uh, hopefully that'll uh, work for you. Well, one other little uh, feature here uh, on a mask that I uh, put together earlier just to uh, spice it up a little bit. If the staples on the inside uh, uh, cause you a problem, just put an extra layer of tape over the staples. I've used uh, some duct tape here as a little shield. And if the outside edges uh, uh, seem a little sharp, I wrap those with uh, just uh, a little edge binding from uh, you know, some electrical tape. So duct tape on the inside, some electrical tape, or whatever you have at hand, and uh, I think you'll be good. So, so much for your uh, do-it-yourself uh, uh, face shield. Be safe. Keep America safe. Have a good day.